What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. The sweet smell of succession. The unofficial recap podcast for the HBO series Succession, hosted by David Chen and Tara Ariano. Uh... The first is the very first time I've ever subscribed to a podcast that recaps uh, a show. Um, I know they're out there. David Chen himself has been a part of many of them, uh, including a Game of Thrones uh, recap podcast. Uh, so, and I'm a fan of David Chen through the Slash Filmcast, about, amongst many other uh, things that he does. But uh, that's where I heard about the show. That's where I heard about Succession. Not only Succession, but I heard about the sweet smell of Succession. And when David Chen announced that he was going to do a recap podcast, I figured I would subscribe and check it out and see. One, to see how it affects my viewing of the show Succession. uh, Because they started the recap podcast uh, for the second season, they did a recap episode for season one uh, to kind of catch everybody up on on where the show is. And then episode by episode for the second season, they release a recap episode, a podcast episode. Um, so I figured, you know, I was watching the first season of Succession because uh, it had been talked about on the Slash Filmcast uh, and had thought about watching it in the past um just kind of one of those shows where the premise didn't necessarily do enough to sell me on it like a oh, wealthy family goes through hard times oh it's so tough um but then watching it I, I i'm a fan of uh rory culkin wait kieran culkin which culkin is in it um i'm a fan of his uh and just kind of a fan of a lot of the actors actually in the show um but and it's HBO, which there's kind of a, a a a quality that they have. Like they usually hold uh, the uh, standards of quality of their shows. Um, and of course, Euphoria is done for the first season, so there's a break in something to watch. And the show is interesting. It's kind of you know you get to see the politics involved with being a wealthy person, but um, good writing, good acting, and an interesting kind of uh, story where it kind of brings in uh, layers of reality and tones and aspects of the lives of wealthy people all braided together into uh, this uh, great show. So each episode of the recap show... Um, David and Tara will kind of go break down the uh, episode, uh, just kind of from start to finish. Uh, There's audio clips from the episode, which helps uh, to kind of refresh your memory. Uh, There's so, as I'm recording this, there's only been four episodes so far of season two of Succession. And uh, five episodes of the podcast. The first episode, of course, being the recap of season one. Um, So each episode, they break down the episode. They discuss kind of uh, what their thoughts of uh, what's happening in each episode and how different their opinions and what they saw, the diversity in uh, what David sees versus what Tara sees or what they uh, kind of how they interpret what the characters do and and how things are going. It's very interesting. It's a an in depth conversation of a show that has a complexity to it that would lend itself to being kind of broken down on an episode basis, and uh, you know being discussed by two people who have the ability to articulate their thoughts and opinions in a very concise way which is something that I myself am not always that good at, but listening to them is, it's, uh, it's great. And it's, I, I enjoy the balance because they disagree on things and sometimes I agree with one and sometimes I agree with the other. It's similar to the Slash Film Cast, why I love that podcast and how David Chen and uh, Jeff Kanata and um, 
the Vinger Heart of War, how their opinions uh, can clash at times. Yet I have a, uh, a familiarity. We have a film familiar uh, kind of taste overall with the three hosts as far as uh, the what movies that I enjoy. So going into this, I have the added knowledge of w the things that David Chen enjoys to watch and uh, the kind of art that he enjoys and kind of... Uh, kind of dark sensibilities that David has. And uh, I appreciate his edge that he brings to the recap show. Um, so anyway, so they go through, they recap the, the events that happen, the storylines, how the storylines are kind of progressing, uh, mixed in with audio clips from the episode. And then at the end of each episode, after they've kind of thoroughly gone through uh, the episode with a fine-tooth comb, um, they will do the winning Roy's versus the losing Roy's and then the winning versus losing non-Roy's of the episode, which I find to be kind of an interesting addition to uh, a different way to uh, kind of look at and uh, a different perspective to kind of form opinions of the different characters that are involved because the, the show is very much... Uh, about losers and winners, uh, mostly, uh, I mean, you could, they're either always, they're like always failing up. So in a way, a lot of them are losing and winning, but uh, it, it's definitely an interesting way to kind of follow the different characters and root for different characters. And uh, yeah, as a, as a podcast, I enjoy it. I mean, if you're a Succession, a fan of Succession, maybe you watch the first season and you, you're watching episode by episode as uh, the second season unfolds, uh, and you want some more in-depth. Like, the, the thing I enjoy about Succession, the show, is that there is a layer of complexity to it, but not so much complexity that it, like, weighs things down and overly complicates things like Game of Thrones. Like, Game of Thrones, the, uh, the investment in attention that you have to pay to that show to follow the countless characters and families and politics and things that are going on it's just it's exhausting right that would be a show that i could see following a the kind of a breakdown show just to kind of clarify all of the things that are going on um where this one it's 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 got that complexity but there's not the the vast amount of characters that you'll run into uh, so it's you kind of get to know everybody pretty quick and you kind of see how all of these different characters are growing. And it's interesting. I'm, you know, just interested to see where all of these characters can go because the writing of the show is so good. But also it's it's going to be interesting to follow Dave and Tara's kind of breakdown of the show and see how their opinions of things. And Tara comes from a background where she's worked in... I mean, David also has kind of worked with... Uh, I mean, one of the themes of the show is how media is kind of gobbling everything up and how startups and, uh, you know, kind of up entrepreneurs and companies can kind of get swallowed up and just you're instantly fired and just the politics of all of that. She has an amazing background in. So both David and her backgrounds work very well to just be qualified on a level to even be breaking down and talking about these episodes. Uh, so I really enjoy it. So if you're looking for a podcast to subscribe to, to kind of add more to your, your succession watching experience, subscribe to the sweet smell of succession. Successionpodcast.com is the website, uh, but you can subscribe on all podcast applications, I'm sure. Uh, so go do that. Um, so that's the end of my episode. New episodes of my show do come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Purchase my original artwork over at inspireddisorder.com and save 25% as a viewer, listener of the show, a follower of my work. Save 25% with coupon code RTS. That stands for Ray Taylor Show. 
Find me on social media at Ray Taylor. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out.